In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly log into Windows 10 with a fingerprint reader. Setting up a fingerprint reader is pretty quick. And once you have it set up, logging into Windows is even quicker. If that's something that interests you, stick around. Logging into your computer securely can be a slow, cumbersome process, easily compromised by cameras, prying eyes, or the person standing next to you while you're logging in, leaving you with a false sense of security. Fingerprint readers are pretty standard in many of the devices we use today, but desktop computers and even many laptops are without this basic technology. Because of this and many other factors, many of us forego security altogether in exchange for convenience. But in this video, I'm going to show you that you don't have to give up either. And if you're a Windows 10 user, you're already halfway there because Windows 10 comes with Windows Hello, a biometric authenticator which can log you into your computer using your camera and facial recognition or a fingerprint reader, which is the way I personally prefer, as I'm not too fond of my camera staring at me all day. To get this to work, you'll need Windows 10 and a fingerprint reader, which you can pick up cheap. I got this one for $32 on Amazon. Whichever brand you choose, the important thing is that it works with the Windows Hello. This one from Gimli fits into a standard USB 2.0 port and can recognize a fingerprint in 15 milliseconds and in any orientation. If you want to connect it to a desktop computer and keep things convenient, you'll want to get a USB extender. I had an old Logitech extender cable lying around, which works perfectly to place the fingerprint sensor close to my keyboard, making it convenient to access. Once plugged in, Windows will recognize it and install drivers for it. From there, right click on Start and select Settings, Accounts, Sign in Options. If your fingerprint reader has been recognized and installed, you'll see an option to add a fingerprint. I already have one saved, so Windows is offering me the option to add another fingerprint, which is not a bad thing to do actually. It could be from a different finger or a different person if I want them to be able to access my computer. Something to keep in mind. If for some reason you didn't see the option to add a fingerprint, know that you have to create a password for your computer first before you can add fingerprints. You can do this by either having Windows sign in with a Microsoft account, which can be done under the Your Info tab, or by creating a local password and PIN. This will be your backup method for gaining access to your computer should the fingerprint reader fail or the number of retries is exceeded. That's it. You're ready to rock and roll. To test your sensor and marvel in its speed and efficiency, press and hold down the Windows key and tap the letter L for lock. This will lock your screen. To unlock, touch your fingerprint reader. It's crazy easy, crazy fast, computer securing goodness. Finally, you can force users to log in when the PC wakes from sleep, which I recommend. And to control when your computer goes to sleep, select the lock screen, screen timeout settings, and set the number of minutes the computer should wait before going to sleep if it detects inactivity. This will assure that even if you forget to manually lock the screen with the Windows key and L combination, that your computer will lock down on its own. Anyway, that's all I got. As always, I've included a link to everything discussed in this video in the description below. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, be kind to one another.